r slash ask reddit asks what is the weirdest thing that society just accepts in my opinion weirdest thing accepted by society is asterisk asterisk the pronunciation of kernel asterisk asterisk kernel asterisk creating social media accounts for kids infants for the most famous cases money and people follow that idea without noting there's one hell of a difference in motives between a professional account and a small account for the family. For example, the parents making money out of it have asterisk bad asterisk reason for sharing crucial informations, while for a small account it's simply not caring. Celebrity endorsements. When you think about it, it's kind of weird that they're using their influence to get paid even more to get you to buy a product they likely don't use themselves. Celebrities in general. I like this person because I see their face a lot and other people like them. I better give them some of my money and things even though they already have more of both than I ever will. In the US, the huge gaps underneath bathroom stalls. It's largely the same in Canada. I hate it so much. Actually, just yesterday I was in a stall that was fit together perfectly, not a gap to be seen aside from underneath and above the door, both of which are not likely to be seen through unless someone is purposely peeking. I took a minute to just appreciate the lack of gaps and tight construction of that stall, ha. TV censoring, at least by the US. Brutal murder of a prostitute? The blood and violence is fine, but she has a boob out, censor the nipple. There was an interesting photo of a worker who was punished for doing lewd selfies at work. The photo was of her exposing a nipple. An American paper blurred out the nipple. A German paper blurred out the face. That the blatant lies almost all companies use to sell products isn't considered false advertising, at least no one ever gets in trouble for it in the States. This is one of my pet peeves. Lots of advertising is demonstrably false but they literally got the courts to agree they can't sell stuff without lying and we all go along with it. Child beauty pageants. I assume that's a weird subculture of women who want dolls instead of kids. Prostitution is super duper illegal, but not if you film it and share it with the rest of us. What about the countries where at 16 you can do it and record yourself but you aren't allowed to watch the video until 18? Stagnation of leadership. There's a tendency for societies to find a style of leadership and say, this is the perfect way to lead and cannot go wrong. Other people should all adopt this too and then wonder why corruption happens. Every societal structure succumbs to it eventually. I wonder about this with democracy. No system of government lasts forever so what comes next? In the future people might look at democracy like we look at monarchy and feudalism now. We also have this idea that these things are linear when they aren't. Working yourself to death. The whole concept of hard work is wrong. It ain't about hard work. It's about smart work. Work smarter, optimize your time, resources, skills, everything. Staying inside a cubicle for 8-10 hours just because you're working hard is not productive. It's weird how normal how people tend to see this. I understand if an athlete, musician or perfecting your craft, you have to put in the work. After that, work smarter, not harder. The insane amount of packaging on everything. With one phone charging cable, I've got a box, two three pieces of molded plastic, two twist ties, and instructions. We know our garbage is an epidemic problem, but we don't bat an eye at the crazy packaging. I agree. I bought a two-pack of Duracell 2032 type button cell batteries and for some stupid reason each battery had an additional plastic packaging in addition to the regular plastic packaging. I basically had to do surgery with a hobby knife to unpack the batteries. In America, I'd say the lack of paid leave. In England you get 28 days paid holiday every year, more elsewhere. Americans get nothing and treat that as normal. It's weird. 
and those of us with jobs with a month of leave time are considered lucky, but also considered lazy. If an animal is terminally ill and suffering, we happily euthanize it. Yet, a terminally ill, suffering human does not have the option to choose to die with dignity. Better yet it is considered cruel not to euthanize a suffering pet, but to euthanize a suffering human who doesn't even know what decade it is. How inhuman! It's weird to wear just underwear in public, but it's fine if it's swimwear. Same thing in anime, holding hands is perverted but bikinis on high school girls are fine. Wow! In my state weed is very illegal, yet prescription painkillers get prescribed as if it's candy. Or better yet, one will get you fired from your job because it's seen as unprofessional and those with a drug habit are at a high risk to steal or commit crimes and the other is completely okay. You know which is which. We poop in perfectly clean water. Asked my brother, civil engineer, this a few years ago so take with a grain of salt, you can use grey water, non-drinking, but it has a habit of being more complicated than it's worth and ends up being potentially more expensive due to messing with pipes, leaving deposits and such. Apparently it's just easier in the long run to use clean fresh water. Spending a fortune on weddings. This is changing. I went to a fun wedding reception held in a restaurant, large room with no open bar and no DJ. All the music can be done from an iPod iPhone and the building sound system was equipped for microphones, etc. It was legit. We spend one three of our lives unconscious. If more of our medical research was put towards reducing the need to sleep, we could effectively live longer and have more quality life years awake. Instead, we prolong the misery of post-70 living. The fact that we spend 5 out of 7 days doing stuff we don't like to afford enjoying the few days that are left. It's absolutely crazy. What's crazier is that our work week is a huge improvement on how things were for a long time and we had to fight ferociously for decades to get it. And what's even crazier than that is that five days a week of work in modest wages in the United States makes you vastly richer and more comfortable than a large majority of the world's population. We rub paper between our butt checks until we can't see poo anymore and say, that's clean enough. Nowhere else on our body would this be okay. This is totally true. Like imagine if shit smeared under your armpit, how good would you feel going back into the world if all you did was wipe it away with some shitty compostable toilet paper? That success is measured by the ownership of things we don't really need. Just yesterday I walked past a Louis Vuitton store. I stopped and looked in at the amount people buying really expensive things just because it has some random guy's name on it. Food taboos are weird. We eat the unfertilized egg of a chicken and that's fine. Drinking milk from a cow's teat is also fine, except in Asia. Eating an insect is gross and disturbing, except in some parts of the world where it's normal. We eat babies and call it high cuisine, veal, lamb. Horse is fine in France, but taboo in the USA. The same with dogs and cats in China. Then there's religious restrictions on top of all that. About the only thing that's universal is that we don't eat other people. And even that wasn't universal until very, very recently. The cult of happiness. The idea that the default state of healthy humans is happy. Happy is not a healthy thing to be every time. It's weird in the fact that nobody genuinely reflects on it. No people just pretend to be happy, that's not healthy. We should all feel whatever we are feeling, but that shouldn't affect our actions in negative ways. How much alcohol people consume, it is accepted to such a degree that most people don't even see it as a drug even though it is comparable to hard drugs and how addictive it is and the effects on your health. Society accepts sneezing but farting is taboo, yet sneezing is potentially harmful, yet farting is completely harmless. One is easier to hold in and is more immediately uncomfortable to those around you. 
Also I don't know where you live but where I'm at you're supposed to cover your nose and mouth when sneezing in public.